to know about uh, the importance of uh, this event of today at IPAKIMA. Uh, what is the importance for UNIDO, uh, for Africa in general? Well, this is an important conference. That's why I am here to support it um, in two respects. One, it highlights the challenge Africa faces or the world faces in terms of meeting food security. As we look at uh, 2030, we, the world needs to increase food production by 50%. And Africa has the potential to meet that demand for the world. But second, why this conference is important? Because the Italian uh, business community here is showing Africans the technology that is available for packaging and food processing that you need in order to develop good supply chains, but also to reduce the wastage and the post-harvest losses of food in the continent. In some cases, 50% of what is produced goes rotten. And this conference is helping them to see the technologies and to do partnership with Italian businessmen. It's very important to the whole world. There are some countries who are now acquiring some lands in, Af in the African continent. Well, it is good for countries to be interested in investing in African agriculture. Some of us have been advocating for that for 30 years, but there was no interest. We are happy to see now that many countries would like to invest in agribusiness and agricultural production in Africa to feed their population, but also to feed the Africans now. However, we have to make sure that those investments are, um, are taking into consideration the interest of the Africans, that they protect the interest of rural people, their rights to land, and thirdly, the whole issue of environmental sustainability. Africa had experience in the past where some have come, invested, in agriculture, cleared the land and left after seven years. And then they left ecological problems. So we hope this time as the investment are coming in, which we need, that there will be interest and protection of environmental sustainability, sustainability Africa's rights and the rights of the rural people. What is that Africa can do uh, so that not to make mistakes as other countries have done in the past uh, with the help uh, in particular of the Italian technology? Well, generally Africa can learn from many. There are countries like Brazil, countries like India, Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam that have been able to achieve food security and at the same time trade food products with the rest of the world. Even recently, Cambodia and others are beginning to export rice, which is their staple food. So there are many of those examples. At the same time, Africa can partner with countries like Italy. Italy has some of the best technologies for small and medium enterprises. Italy has been very successful in organizing small and medium enterprise business clusters and business distri districts. That has been the Italian success. Small businesses, competitive with good technology, targeting niche markets. We can learn from that. So I think that this conference again gives them that opportunity, exposure to technology that is good for small businesses, but also the possibility for business partnerships. I hope that helps you. Do you um, advise to governments in general and to young people? Well, to governments in general, you heard my speech. To governments in general, look at Africa as a business partner. Don't look at Africa just as a place for aid or a place for raw materials. Africa is ready to join the 21st century. We have economies now that are growing at 5 7%. Of the 11 fastest growing countries in the world today, 2011, seven of them are in Africa. We believe that governments in Europe and elsewhere should look at Africa as a business partner, as a potential area for demand for their products in the future. That can only happen if we create wealth in Africa. If we have only an aid model that looks at Africa as a victim poor continent, that will not solve Africa's problems. We must look at Africa as a potential business partner and a competitive business environment.